that though. Uh, you know, God of War games are still supposed to be about the campaign and feeling everything being larger than life. And when you play Ascension, it just feels like you're watching a direct-to-video version Ugh. of the first God of War. And it just doesn't feel Ugh. right. So the series needs to be retooled, needs to be, you know, they need to, like, really think about what the hell they're going to do I like here. the idea of there being a new character that has to come after Kratos. D- yeah, pull something like that. Because he's the last god. Yeah, you know? he's the like, last one. Uh, okay. Session 13 has suggested a Scientology version. Of God. <laughs> nice. I would support that. All right, who's still, who's still uh, needs I was, needs I was to just go. gonna throw out. I'm just gonna throw out. It's not really stop, but kind of slow. Uh, not exactly big problem, but the Battlefield series. It's kind of yeah. weird that there was a big gap between two and three, and then then when Medal of Honor started tanking, uh, EA is like, oh, okay, another one. Just make it four. They, I really yeah. feel like this one should have been Bad Company three. They We're already getting to, another they, Battlefield this they year. They need to. Awesome. EA yeah. needs to give Dice time to release a game that works. Yep. They need to give them to like th- th- and I don't necessarily believe what people have been saying about like okay we didn't know that Ghost was going to be a mess but if we had known it and we had figured out that because of where Infinity Ward ended up that this game could potentially be less than what it has been in the past yes Dice could have potentially made a game that knocked it out of the park in a way that they took the gold crown away from Call of Duty. Would they have ever have actually done that? I think that's a very, 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 very far out there realm of possibility. Well, like, wait, I'm sorry. Like, take take the take They're the gold ring away from games. them. They're different. Yeah, they are different games, and they play differently. But Dice should never have released four in the state that it was in. If it needed another, EA new- should never released it. But yes. Sorry, no, 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 no. No, I mean, that's not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. But if that game needed another year, I, I think Activision seriously takes a step back and looks at Call of Duty after this after this year. They won't release another one next year. I don't think they will. What's Treyarch doing? They're working on I don't know Black what Ops they're 3. doing. Are they working on Black Ops 3 right I now? I have no idea, but I would imagine so. I would assume so, but what I'm saying is, is that... If if Battlefield th- if Battlefield Four had come out a year from when it was released, I'm I'm betting you that game would have been the best game of 2014. Mm-hmm. One more year in the mm-hmm. in, in the oven, mm-hmm. best game of 2014. Mm-hmm. Under the circumstances, under the way that it was released, and biggest mess of this year. Next to and they re- the only reason that it is not the worst game that EA released is because of SimCity, and that is fucking <laughs> ridiculous. Can I just tell Rob what I... T- I'll tell you guys what I told Rob mm-hmm. outside. So, uh, I think Kotaku or something did their thing where, hey, users, submit to us what your Game of the Year nomination should be. So, you know, and they said, when you do it, submit a JPEG, and then the name of the game, and with why blah 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 should be Game of the Year. So, first guy up <clears> submitted <throat> Last of Us, so he's got the banner with Joel and Ellie... Why Last of Us should be Game of the Year. Next guy, Grand Theft Auto V. He's got the banner with all three guys. Why Grand Theft Auto V should be Game of the Year. Next guy, banner. BF4.exe has stopped functioning. Why Battlefield 4 should be Game of the Year. And the whole paragraph was, parentheses, HFS fix underscore dot 7192 has failed to execute in code line 7928. <laughs> So please good. forward, please forward, mini so dump to tech support. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready to move on? Yes. Next yeah. category. Next. Worst oh platform of we're the get, year. We're getting close to the end here, guys. I have an example. The worst platform of the year. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Wow. All right. All right. I feel like oh we're all going to be on the same page on this. One. I think just this FYI, is- people, for people who weren't here earlier in the day, Boris put the Ouya down on the table, and we thought he was threatening us. <laughs> yeah, I thought my life was over. I was. Boris I was is holding for my- up yeah, for here, people who here, can't see or here, are like listening give, give later. It, give it to me. Give it to me. He is holding up an Ouya and an Ouya controller. They are glorious, glorious pieces of plastic. Oh, look! At for that. only your soul, you can get this system right now. Only nice thing about that is he won it. He didn't have to pay for it. There you go. It's a nice, that is it's a, a glowing nice silver review. fuck you box. I just, anyway, I, just, so I, just, I just keep waiting next. for like... All right, I'm going to take this one. Uh, Ouya is my winner. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah, Ouya, sure. I'll, go next. I'll go next. I haven't played the Ouya, so I can't comment, but my number one is, the, three, is the 360 because Microsoft has just put a bullet in that oh. thing's head and moved yeah. on. 
and yeah, yeah. that sucks. That, that really sucks. That Wait. system. That's and also yeah. beyond that, yeah. even the games that are coming out, they all have multi-disc installs, frame rate problems. You know, rest in peace, 360. 360, 360 is runner up on my list as well. Yeah. Uh, both of those are, are good choice and correct choices. I just want to also throw out the Xbox One seems to have a mess of a launch. It was, a, yeah. It's a mess yeah. of a system. I, I've complained already about Microsoft's, like, intention to stuff um, microtransactions, everything, which to me just already ruins the system. Uh, and it, I don't know. I don't like what they were trying to go for with that. But on the other hand, it's still competent and can make good-looking games, and you can play games on it, unlike the Ouya. The Ouya doesn't have a camera pointed at you that you can't turn off at all times. Good so. point. Yeah. Good point. Well, you can actually turn it off now, I think, you can, right? Okay. If they can turn it off, then I, <laughs> I gotta go with you. See, I don't okay, think you can Microsoft, turn it off. your messaging is horrible. I don't remember now. I don't think you can turn the connect off. But if you, you can, then I'm going to go with Ouya. Can you turn it off? The, you can unplug it. That's but you can't it, turn the ca- you can turn the ca- you can't turn the, like, the console stop or camera off. They patch that out. Okay, all right. But wait, can you have the voice controls, but the no. camera be off? No. So yeah, yeah, because yeah. I think yeah, yeah. Because the only thing that seems cool, even though apparently it doesn't work at all yet, is the voice control part. Right. <clears throat> if they ever fix that, then that could be pretty neat. But yes, yeah. Yep. You can put that there now. Yeah. Boris, <laughs> put it away, <laughs> Boris. Please don't keep us in suspense. What's your worst platform? What's your of the worst year? platform of the year? Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the Wii. Yeah. Just yep. because it's like, yep. It's like, but it's the Towerfall console it. of the year. But Towerfall is so great. But Towerfall is not a platform. <laughs> <laughs> Towerfall will be coming out on other platforms. Yes, because there's no future this, on the on the Ouya. This will lose all of its. Well, I mean, there's still things they to need to do rename on the Ouya. The, Ouya but, the oh no, is what right. they need to. I mean, there's oh, just no. nothing supporting the Ouya. I mean, it's it's one of those experimental boxes that you can do things with it, but nobody's gonna join. What you. happened to the game stick? What? It's that essential- is that still a thing? I think sure, that of course was, yeah. it is. Right. It was basically an Ouya in a sort I think of NES still coming, controller. I think it's still coming out. I yeah. Well, God help them. I mean, I, yeah. If this is any indication of where that market is going, they're fucked. Well, yeah. They are in deep shit. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how well that's going to work, or how uh, wow. much of a system that itself that it needs to integrate, or if it just literally will take. It will tap into Google I mean, Play automatically. Brian, I remember when we were at Indicate last year, and there was a line around the block for the uh, um, Oculus. Oh yeah. And there was no one paying attention to that thing. That was so, yeah. I felt a little bad. I felt a little bad for it too, but I was also kind of like, ugh. Anyway, should yeah. we move on yeah. next? We probably should. Brian, worst platform? Uh, oh yeah. Since you can turn off the camera for Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> right he flip flops. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I yeah. Is that everybody? Yep. Uh, okay. Worst developer. Um, worst developer of the year. Don't really have one. I kind of have one. Yeah, it's like I don't think anybody really dropped the ball more than others, so it's like nitpicking at this well, point. It's, it's, you know, Sean, what's like, the worst game? Tell me, tell me what uh, it is, I, I and dis- that's the I worst disagree. developer. Well, here, I will say, like, I feel bad for Terminal Reality. I believe they got shut down this year. I mean, but the, at the same point, Walking Dead Survival Instinct is apparently a terrible game. And how do you screw up such a good IP? Given that opportunity, that seems like it should be a gift. I'll give you one that's really bad. Worst developer of the year, Maxis. All right. Ooh. That These was were... EA's fault. Man. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, that's actually, no, no, yeah, no. Now it's not no, no, no. I'll give you three examples of how Maxis is the worst developer of the year. First of all, they oversold their game. They oversold their game when they knew they were going to fucking deliver a flaming piece of shit. Mostly because of EA's decisions at the publisher level. Second of all, when that game came out, they called out their consumers as liars. Yeah. <laughs> they called out their consumers as liars. They basically said, look, you guys don't like what we did, but we came up with some fucking amazing ideas, and we think that this is great, and we can't do this game any other way. And then when people broke their game to prove that they were lying about what their game could do, not only did they not apologize, but they, 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 they didn't fix it. They didn't fix the fucking problem. It took them months to figure out how to fix their game, and it's still fucking busted. That that 
company has gone so far off the rails of what they were as far as sim games. Yeah, and a lot amazing. of that, yeah. a lot of that has to do. I think a lot of that has to do with um, electronic arts. No, with uh, oh, the departure right, of uh, Will Wright. Yeah, right. I I mean that that game, and, and I'll I'll be the first to say like that game showed some amazing promise, amazing. But what that game showed and what that game ended up being, terrible. And and maybe part part of the problem is on EA. I, I'm not I'm not disputing that. But I will say Maxis did not do itself any favors with what kind of mess they put out. And they they did nothing to give anybody who bought that game any sense of good feels about what they purchased. And it's not even that. To do the online thing, but then to straight out lie. Say, yeah, we got really powerful computers in the cloud running this shit here at Max's headquarters. Yeah, it's the lying to the consumers thing that's really egregious. That's that's not even like, well, I I disagree with you on that. No, that's fucking bullshit. You didn't. (laughs) It's not even like a matter of opinion. You fucking lied. You yeah. totally fucking yep. lied to yep. everyone that bought the game. Yep. That's not even that's not even debatable. Even people who like the game will tell you, yeah, they lied to me. And, and believe me, I don't want to I don't want them to be in this place because I've always been a huge fan of this company. But not after this shit. Not after what they did this year. They burned any bridge of like, like consumer feels for me because they went out they went out there on the limb the the head of their company the head of development Lucy for Bradshaw this game, yeah Lucy Bradshaw went out on a fucking limb and said to consumers who bought this game we're in the right you're in the wrong and you're just not playing this game right cuz we know what game we developed and then they went bullshit yeah that that argument goes well you're not playing it correctly yeah, th- so let me. Th- there's a reason that it's after awful. SimCity dropped, Maxis immediately announced The Sims 4. Like, it's like awful. I was like, "Hey, we got The Sims 4 coming out." And then can we get people, further away and from then this? People, and, yeah. then, and then people ask them, like, "Well, Ugh. what kind of a game is going to be?" And they're like, "Well, it's not going to require a constant internet connection." There's a reason that's the first two things yeah. that they dropped after that. Yeah, what it isn't. Oof. The uh, anyone else it does not have anyone else have a worse developer? Ooh. I was, I was tempted to say Gearbox because of Colonial Marines and just letting that out. But they didn't actually develop it. Though. They didn't actually. <laughs> right, yeah, there's, right, they, and they the studio that game is dead now. Yeah, so but I gotta bad. go with Maxis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I have two. Uh, my runner-up is EgoSoft for the uh, dumpster fire that is X Rebirth, and not only that, but for pulling the typical thing of companies that put out really busted pre-alpha games as full priced. Um, and they say they say as soon as everyone can't start the game or whatnot, and everyone downloads it, and shit's just flying out, and your monitors on fire, they just issue the very play. We understand some a small percentage of users are having some minor issues running the game, oh and then God. it's the wall what? of silence, you yeah. know. Yeah. And it's X Rebirth is the game that finally made me say, you know what, I'm I'm all done pre-ordering. I I I, I fell for this bullshit hook line and yeah. sinker. I'm all done. But my true worst developer, um, actually, I'm gonna. Guest DJ spot to Jason. Jason, why don't you read off um, my second? <laughs> EgoSoft, who and who? Wait, winner. oh, the winner. Whoever developed Ride to Hell, because honestly, I don't give enough of a shit to look it up. <laughs> I don't know who they are. I don't know if they're still in business. I don't know if they're nice people. Fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, well done. fuck them. I know everyone says, well, well I'm not ripping on the developer, I'm ripping on the game. I'm doing both. Fuck the game, and that's not fuck the, the developers. Sorry, They're know, bad people, they should feel bad about themselves. That game made oh. me laugh. That game made me laugh. I'm sorry. I think, what did, I, what, what did I call I'm it? I'm an awful human per- I'm an awful human being, though. I laugh at really what did I? What did I? What did I call it during the fire? I'm so sorry to easily offend. I think I called it uh, an abortion clinic dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That beats my pants on head. Retarded. And that was when I was in a that, and that and that's when I was in a decent mood about it. Oh my but yeah, god! That's, that's my great. that's my winner. Who's left for this category? I that? don't really have no, no, one. No, the term, right. terminal reality. I mean, publisher. I just like in the. Can we all just say EA and just get that? Oh over? my publisher. god! It's EA. It's so, EA. Electronic. Well, here's the thing. EA. One thing I will say. I will say just Capcom because of how much. Retardedness no, goes around. No. Mega Capcom Man. gets this in any other year but this year. Series. Capcom gets yeah. it in any other year but this year. Right. EA and I, I, okay, look, let me first put worst publisher. Okay, up here. so 
I want to say a couple of no- things that others might not say about EA. Yeah. Um, there's plenty that they're doing wrong in the console PC <laughs> space. In yeah. the iOS space... Prior to last to, to to this year, they actually made a whole lot of really good iOS games, um, and they had really great uh, end of year sales. Um, and um, this year, the end of year sale was not particularly interesting because every one of their games is already free to play and. Yeah. chock full of goddamn microtransactions yeah because that's what they've promised to do and they've ruined many games already this year because of that yeah and series uh the real racing series on ios is cool is pretty cool stuff you know good like uh you know kind of G- uh, gt style racing game uh real racing 3 no <laughs> one asked for it to be three uh free and absolutely chock full of like timers you cannot play that game for more than a couple of minutes without paying I love it's what horrible. I love what uh, Amber just wrote in the chat. EA, we don't care that we're the worst business in the world again. <laughs> well, they got they got voted worst company. In well, they company always well, and and that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. They yeah, are that not, is kind of stupid. They are yeah. not the worst company in the world. They are they are idiots when it comes to video game business. Right. Because they're not killing no, no. Them. Actually, I take it back. They're not idiots when it comes to video game business because what because the egregious shit they do makes them money, but it is the most offensive stuff to consumers. And beyond that, they also pulled a Maxis this year. They lied to consumers over Battlefield 4. They lied and, to and consumers. And they, they started dumping stock. Before the release of they the game. Knew, they knew they were releasing a bullshit broken game. They lied to consumers about the problems that were in there. And they d- deflected issues with consumers of that game. And looked them right in the face and they said, well, you're playing our game wrong. I really... Again, with this, you're I playing really our game wrong. I really cannot bullshit. stress enough. EA executives started selling stock before the release of Battlefield Oh my 4. god. It's- that is so isn't that, bad. Is, isn't that like insider trading? I don't fucking know. The, I mean, the isn't, that, should, isn't that pretty fucking close fucking to no, that? I'm going to fall asleep eating Doritos with my jeans on, and I don't fuck know about insider trading. <laughs> <laughs> there's something really, there's a lot really grody about the way they treated all of the Battlefield shit this year. It, it's, it's a thing about EA, and particularly this year, but it's been for a while. It's, yeah. What I want to say is that, like, the amount of hate that Activision used to get actually didn't quite make sense to me, because what did Activision do? It made a lot of Call of Duty games, which is kind of like, all right, if you didn't, like, I don't feel like anyone who really loved the Call of Duty games particularly hated what what Activision did to it because it right. just made yeah. more of the same right. thing. It's it's like if you don't like those games, don't buy them. But the thing is, EA on the other hand is like kind of actively like screwing with lots and lots of people's favorite like series. Well, They're yeah. buying up companies and then fucking them. Like for example, Bioware and Maxis and all these like all these other companies. They're just they. What they do wrong and have, are doing wrong is so much further than what Activision never really did. Absolutely agreed. Absolutely agreed. They're, they are actively going be above and beyond the level of ugliness in order to beat a threshold that they don't need to go past in order to be a viable company. We know EA can publish and make good games. The only reason they're doing this shit is because they feel they need to be Activision. Mm-hmm. And it's gross the way they're doing it. And Activision isn't even being Activision. No, Activision there have been multiple times where Vivendi Interactive has been going like, well, we want to get out of this fucking game. Yeah. We want to get out of this business and sell Activision off. And Activision, well, Activision is, doesn't do like the, doesn't really do microtransactions. It doesn't do all the kind right, of because it's stuff. Not a, it doesn't yeah. do it doesn't do like always online uh, DRM. Well, like, because they're, what the because hell they're they're hitting, their DRM and on the PC is Steam. They're hitting a financial <laughs> yeah. they're hitting yeah. a financial glass ceiling, and that's a problem with the games industry overall. Is that there's never enough ways to make money off of video games, and the people who are at the top of these companies who are looking at the games, don't look at quality, they just want to make more money off of these games. And EA is getting to a point where Activision is still releasing one of the best-selling games on the planet, and EA is not even coming close. So at some point, it becomes less about what EA is doing to get there, and more about, well, what aren't you doing to get there? What steps can you take that are even more gross to get there, and still get there without like getting a class-action lawsuit? Like, it's fucking disgusting. Should we move on to the best, uh, worst game? We should. Oh, yes, and we've got yeah. to do worst new character. 
Yes, worst new character. Let's do worst new character real quick. Oh yeah, right. Um, wow. I don't even. All right, we're gonna. We're, somebody needs to start that one off because I don't even know. I already have mine. You go, uh, man. Your your inanimate robotic AI companion in X Rebirth. No, oh, who geez. literally just sits there dead eyed and tries to give you tutorial messages and is of no help at all Ooh, whatsoever. Um, and also, uh, my runner up is a uh, biker dude from Ride to Hell. Nice. Uh, my worst new character is every character in Ride to Hell. Moving on, <laughs> there is not a single character in that game that is worth a fuck. I'm sorry. Hmm. Like my list yeah, of games, but if I had to make a real answer. I'm sorry, Franklin and GTA Five. What a what a mm. what a mi what a miss of a character choice. Putting somebody in there that looks like they're gonna do something great with him, and then going nowhere with that character. Yeah. Um, Terrible. I'm gonna say. Well, I'm gonna say the. I guess the dad and the brother in Call of Duty Ghosts because they're kind of dumb. Wow. Okay. Uh, but I mean, not. Eh, they're just. It's just dumb. Um. I was gonna say, and I think I'm going to like. Directly con uh, uh, contradict to you, but I thought the concept of the guy in Blood Dragon was awesome, but I did not really like the execution of it. See, I did. Yeah, yeah. I just, like, initially was like, this is great, and then it was like, oh, you're, you, he very quickly wore on me. But I don't know. Like, I can see why people would like him. I think, I think, I think Amanda's not coming back. Oh, okay. A bit. Well, no, but I want to sit next to. Sean. I know. Well, who doesn't want to cuddle with Sean? <laughs> <laughs> that could get me. That could get me in a lot of trouble. Um, all right, I'm gonna say that that fucking lightning guy from Dive Kick. Because fuck that guy. Yes, <laughs> he yes. ruins everything. Well, what the hell is his name? Yes, yes. I don't even know his name. Oh He's just God. that lightning guy. Yeah. The, okay, that's a good one. Actually, yeah. that's a really good yeah. one. Yeah, I don't think I got anything for this. Okay. Next category. It's nothing Next I, category. Again, this, this for me, this was a year of refreshing on the games that I either wanted to or was excited to play. And anything that I didn't like was just kind of shrug. Like, Remember Me, I'm sure, had a bunch of characters that really didn't serve much. But I can't really look at it, any of it as palpable disdain. Or Which one? Worst. Sorry, which game? Remember Me. Mm. Worst game of the year! Proteus! Wor <laughs> wow. Last of Us! Worst game of <laughs> the year! Yeah, no, just there. I, I, I saw nothing good in Proteus, honestly. Really, that's your worst game of the year. Yeah, I just Risk of Rain, man. Again, Are you, I like, will fucking, I, could, I will fucking I go to war go with there. you right now. I could go into Proteus and look Actually, around no, that and can, discover that'd be wrong. myself. I already said it was all right. If yeah. I were to discover myself in Proteus, I'd just have to kill myself. <laughs> I mean, it's, I can't, no. I can't believe you. Where you wander around and. Music plays and I can't stuff believe you're happens. picking Proteus. So okay, you go. but I mean, I what else I I, what are you do? I don't disagree with Proteus as a choice. I disagree with the fact that y y that good. that's the one you actually went with. <laughs> I just I don't understand. I don't like disagree with it hypothetically. You, uh, hypothetically, yeah, it could be on a list, but what? <laughs> it's well, like, still, it's not the stuff that I play. Yeah, that well, sure, um, that's fine. Um, all right, I'll, I'll just go. Yeah, pl please, Sim City. I'm feeling like it's it's got to be yeah. What I'm hoping is that it's it's still like something the game industry needs to get out of its system or something. We need to have this debacle and hit bottom because it didn't right, right. it didn't happen to, with with Diablo three even up. though it had fucked right, up right, lives right, as well. Right. I mean, but I Diablo three was still playable and it still had its fans and it pre right. still probably made money. Oof. SimCity was just a disaster. Yeah, it was a disaster. And I think it yes. it taught hopefully taught the EA. Or, the industry at large lessons that it needs to learn. I'm just bummed that that is like a radioactive wasteland for like a decade now. Like no Sim one can City? fucking. That's make what a Sim pisses City. me yeah. off is that yeah. this no name one is can toxic. Make, one of the most no beloved one can make city, a Sim City yeah. game ever now. is now to like, a toxic wasteland. Like one of the like Sim City. Like who the fuck played Cities XL? Come on, seriously, <laughs> anybody? No, because well, you play everything. I like city builders. I like City Builders too, but SimCity is the g Sim City should have been one you of the best games. Should check out Clash of Clans then. <laughs> you get the pay to build that. Sim City. I like City Builders, not capitalism simulators. <laughs> Sim City should have been one of the best games of this year, yeah. and the fact that it wasn't even close yeah. is a, a testament to all the wrong things about video game, game design. And 
publishing by committee. It's just awful. It's just a major blow to that series yeah. that it didn't deserve. Um, but that's perhaps my, that's, we will rise from the ashes better than better than, than Ashes 2013 right. by 505, <laughs> yeah. which is one of the worst. Wow, that could also be that could also be one of the worst games of this year that none of us would ever have played. Yep, but only know about because God damn, what a mess. Um, also. I think it, it has to be said, Ride to Hell, well. Aliens, Colonial Marines. Oh. Oofta. Let's go. Let's, wow, let's, let's bounce off that Yeah. to me. Uh, my runner's shock. up. I think what's sad is how many games are, are on here, in spite of it being <laughs> a pretty good year. Apocalypse. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, Dark is a runner-up. A really horrid stealth action game it's about bad, vampires. It's bad, but I wouldn't call it anywhere near the worst game that came I out would. this year. I Wood mean, game? Sorry. Dark? Dark? No. Oh, I know why, but go on. Dark Ridge Racer Driftopia. Yeah. Absolute disaster. Yep. Um I know someone in the chat is a fan of this. Ooh boy, did I hate this game. Dust five fourteen. Absolutely mm. hated it. Absolutely hated it. That was a game that That's should have been way better than it was. Yeah. Um X Rebirth. Now that t- that's yep, just a, stop. That's just a shame. That's yeah, it is. Just a fucking shame. It is, and you know what? That series is now mm. dead for a little while. Mm. While EgoSoft tries to get their mm. shit together, clearly you can tell when they were developing Sorry. it that they had intended for this to be like sort of like a next gen console game. Didn't get a publishing deal on the consoles and just throw it out on the PC to try to make some money so they could make the next game. Ugh. Um, I wanted to make Ride to Hell my worst game of the year, but I couldn't because of Kamazutsu's generosity during our uh, <laughs> game apocalypse. Kamazutsu is the boss. Um, so I wanted to, but I looked at it and I was like, God, I hate you so much, but you did something so good for children. Um, <laughs> that's why my worst game of the year is Aliens. Aliens, Colonial yeah, Marines. Is. I mean... You I... want to talk about an absolute joyless yeah. experience yeah. with Aww. an amazing license. That's why when I heard that Creative Assembly was doing an alien game, but they were going to make it a survival horror game with only one alien in it. Mm. I said, thank fucking God, because holy shit did Gearbox, and what's Time... time sh- what's the I company no that The clue. company that really developed it, and then Gearbox no kind of idea. finished it off. Um, but I, I but just... I, I mean, I've made this argument multiple times. You don't subscribe to it, and that's fine. But... Drive to Hell Retribution made me laugh. And for that alone, I can't give it worst game of the year. Because as abysmal as that fucking game is, I know... You so, did there kick are, guys in the... There, there is stuff that made me laugh out loud about how... But, and that doesn't make it better. But I, I agree with you. Aliens Colonial Marines is not... It's not only <laughs> the fact stupid. that it is a... It is a it, it, it is, is a, a world di- completely strained and devoid of all joy. But it is also that there is no redeeming quality to playing that game whatsoever. There is nothing about that game that comes off as inventive, interesting, creative, like, under, like, respectful of the of the god fearing of the story of and like th- there is so much like th- throw shit on the face of the entire franchise of alien in that game mm-hmm. that you just come off looking at like did they watch any of this did they see like and granted there have been bad there have alien been bad games alien games before this but to go to so, like to to knowingly go out and say this game is the game that people wanted Aliens 3 to be as a movie. That is a big fucking statement to make on this game. And then to not even come close. To make Aliens 3 look like a goddamn Michelangelo fucking art piece installation. As compar- comparatively speaking to Aliens 3, which most people consider is a major tragedy on that franchise. I'm just saying, I, I'm I'm just saying say- it's the equivalent of saying, like, you know, hey guys, we're making... The Saving Private Ryan shooter. It's going to be the sequel, Saving Private Ryan. Mr. Spielberg has personally <laughs> given us access to his files. We're going to do yeah, a respectful Mr. tribute. Yeah. And it's Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah. Metal yeah. Of Warfighter. And Mr. Spielberg it's Warfighter. Like, yeah, Mr. Spielberg <laughs> signing off on it is that, su- that some assistant came in and was like, uh, Mr. Spielberg, you have to send him. <laughs> pure just, aside, pure aside, by the way, I, I, I liked Aliens 3. I'm not saying oh, that people don't like. Let's not go down this rabbit nope. hole. We got other categories yeah, yeah. here, boys. We got well. We got one more category. 
And then Towerfall. Um, do we, well, okay, do we want to go back and quickly, really quickly deal with stories of the year? No. Because there are a couple that are really bad. What do you mean? There, okay. Worst story? There, there are a couple wait. that are really oh, bad. Oh, stories news, 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 about, news. Like, I really don't have much. Yeah, I don't either. All right, there, yeah. are, there are a couple that I would yeah. like to mention yeah, really, really, really quick. Definitely go through. All right, so best not stupid news story of the year, I think we can all agree, Sony PS4's announcement at E3. Hmm. That was pretty cool. That was pretty unbelievable yeah. on the heels of the Xbox cool. announcement. Basically, Sony going, oh, yeah, all those things you just talked about? Yeah, fuck you. I We're did not doing love that. that shit. You, I'm sure you saw that video. Uh, I've forgotten who it was. It was. Um, oh, yeah, it was Kaz Harai and, and um, uh, his boss. Uh, it was no, 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 no. It, no. Was, it wasn't. Um, no, no. It was. It, uh, what's his face? It was. Um, all right, it doesn't matter. Uh, one guy. Says, Here's how you share your games. In long, in yeah. extended intro, just like. Like law, you know, the, the kind of like that music in the background. It was gorgeous. And then one guy handing, here you go. And, and that's thanks. Yeah. And that's it. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. Can you also just yeah, make mention for wonderful marketing? Can you also mention for best news, uh, Oculus Rift getting a bajillion yes. dollars in yes. private funding? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can I also yeah. say Oculus yes. Rift? Um, what's his face? Carmack. Uh, Carmack. John Carmack leaving it going. That's sad to Oculus news, Rift. but it's really exciting. But it's news amazing too. news. It's amazing news. Yeah. He's going over to Oculus but Rift. But as a follow up to the Sony story, you got to mention. Uh, Microsoft backtracking on the well, always on Well, yeah, that's just goddamn yeah. insane. That's nuts. Like, that was that, that awesome. That was amazing. Yeah. Like, consumer, yeah. consumer, like, because that was a thing. Like, when... Oh, it was... Uh, sh- uh, Adam sh- Boys, Adam Boys. Yeah, Adam Boys. Adam Boys is amazing. Man. Yeah, and it, it just, it was the kind guy. of thing that I remember when people were starting to, like, do, like, petitions and complaining and, like, oh, Microsoft's got to change this. And it's like, no, this is not what happens in the real world. Companies do not listen to consumers. And it, We yeah. are, like, the, like, the tiny mind, like... Tiny little voices. The main mainstream Microsoft. will not care. And like, it came out cheaper. And, and it came out a week earlier. Well, no, 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 and, no, 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 yeah. well I'm, I'm jumping ahead to the yeah, Microsoft ahead, thing. Ahead, ahead. And it's just like, this is Microsoft. Microsoft doesn't pay attention to other people. Like, they've got their own thing that they're going for. You know, yeah, there will be a bunch of complaints now, but everyone will forget it by Christmas. And then to have it, like, grow and grow and grow. It's this groundswell to the point where finally Microsoft... A backtracks and B still to this day most I would say probably a majority of people think that oh yeah Xbox that's a thing where you can't like they're like you can't share games with me right man and there I think those features are still going to show up in that system oh, yeah eventually I don't think I think they rolled those back a lot of those in 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 for the launch for the launch I think those features are still going to show back up but like they're still maybe but. But they are it, the, the cat's out of the bag. Like you'll still be able yeah. to buy one and not. I think they plug wanted to say something that was good for their marketing, like double speak. But I don't think those systems well, are going away. I still, think that's what they still built backed that away for around. it now, which is still incredible. True. Uh, most overhyped story of 2013. Um, this one for me was weird coming off of the Supreme Court decision from the previous year. After the Sandy Hook shooting, John Boehner sat down with developers from different publishers of game companies, Mm -hmm. sort of a stern warning. And I think there were a lot of people who responded to that, like, the government's getting serious on cracking down on games. And nothing happened. What the hell was going to happen? happen. Nothing. It was a show of... Nobody in yeah. the political realm knows what video games are. <laughs> there, there, there are lots of people. people. There are lots of people who blow hard about this whole like doing stuff about this. Mm-hmm. Nobody really actually believe like, especially people who don't know what video games are. Especially who people that like they games. talk all this. Oh well, let's start these searches about mm, oh video games with the. Nobody fucking knows and nobody fucking cares. But every time one of these stories comes up. People lose their shit, and I'm so done with losing my shit about this stuff. Because the Supreme Court ruled on these games. It's a form of entertainment. You have to respect that there's some level of, you know, somebody is looking over what you're playing, and, like, if you're an adult, you're an adult playing this shit. If you're a child, then someone is paying attention. If they're not paying attention, that is a family problem. That is not a government problem. Mm -hmm. Like... That will always be a nice talking point for politicians, but politicians don't fucking care. They don't care. It's a big fucking mess of a situation. I don't know if you guys have anything else to say about that, but... My two things, I had the video game violence debate for Overhyped, and I also had just constantly hearing about the death of the Wii U. 
<laughs> that may be so. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, I'm so sick of hearing about it. Right yeah. Now. Like, I get it. I yeah. get it. They're in trouble. Yeah. And then big, then best stupid, stupidest news story of 2013, Connect giving technical fouls, fouls, foul, giving technical fouls to uh, NBA 2K14 players. What? Oh Wait, my what? god, as in you curse out loud and oh, give the result yeah, of a foul right. because of Connect. That's amazing. I heard something Connect about that. Connect is watching you. Connect I heard is, about that. Connect that's is seeing you. That was one, and then the other one Bottle was. My. Then the other one was the 505 Games apology for Ashes <laughs> Cricket 2013. And then the last one was um, you can't play SimCity offline. Oh, wait, yeah, you can. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. amazing. Anyway, those were Game Crasher specific awards. We're done with that. We are going to take a quick two-minute break because I need to stop talking, and I'm sure you guys need to take a quick break for a minute. We're going to come back with our game of the year, predictions for 2014, games we're excited to play, and then we're going to get the fuck out of here. Whoa, oh, what do we... Music. Oh, I have music. Oh, I got, I got some of that. Do uh, you want to put gunpoint on? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, don't go anywhere because the best... Ooh, oh, ooh, shit. All right. Best part of the cast, and meaning the part you've been waiting for. Game of the year deliberations are going to go on right yeah. after this. Uh, we're going to put that on. All right. Hit play, and let's go. What's the volume like? It's, uh, we'll find out. We'll be right back after this. Don't go nowhere. See you in a minute. <laughs> 